Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome to today's video day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like so excited. Um, as you guys can see by the title of this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Oh my gosh. So I'm really excited. Um, I was really hesitant on my order because I love the Hobonichi Cousin. I do. I love the texture of the paper. I love the way it feels. I am so motivated to actually write in it. But there are a lot of pages and a lot of things about it that are not useful for me. So I decided to try this Hobonichi Techo for 2024. And it just came in and I really wanted to just go ahead and record a video and open this for you guys. Um, I'm not uploading this video right away because I did order stuff to set it up and I kind of want to include that in this video as well before I um, decide to upload the video. Because I, I think like just an unboxing is so boring because everyone, you know, does those. So I'm going to go ahead and open this baby up. I do like the fact that they wrap it so well, but at the same time, it's so annoying to open. A calendar is filled with numbers, days that have passed and days still to come. It's funny, of all of them, the only one we are living is today. The only day we can reach out and touch is today. That is very, um, wow. <laughs> so I did hear that for 2024 Hobonichi Cousins, they are handing everybody like different pens and a pouch that's different from last year's. I loved last year's pouch. I thought it was really good quality and I use it for like traveling purposes. But I saw the pictures for this year's pouches and you guys, they look really bad. <laughs> but there's like three different ones you can get. And it's random, but I really hope I got I get the two that have like the food on it because I don't like the word printed ones, but watch, I'm gonna, I have like the worst luck, so I probably will be getting the word printed ones. <laughs> so let's see what this is. Oh, this is probably the pouch. I love their packaging. Ooh, look at the pen. Ooh, where's my other Hobonichi pen? I have no idea where it is, but I believe the one from last year is just one color. I could be wrong though. I don't remember because I don't really use it. I think it's too too thin for me. Oh, I love the color of this one though. Oh, this is so nice. We got black, blue, and red. Ooh, let's let's scribble. Ooh, this this one feels way better. Oh my god, it's so smooth. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I'm happy there. So they gave me a pouch that I don't like. It's okay because I really like this pen way more than the pen from 2023. Okay, let's do the pouch. You guys, I really don't want that yellow one, which I saw that a lot of people are getting. Oh my God, it's not the yellow one. Oh my God, it's the food. I'm so happy. I wanted the pretzel and or the other one. I think the other one had like a dumpling or something on it. Oh my God, this is so cute, you guys. Look, it's a pretzel. I am so happy right now. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God, I could keep this on my desk and put like all my scraps in here maybe or like snacks. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Ooh, oh my God, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> So I went with the Techo. I went with the, I can't recall if I went with the A5 or A6. A6, ooh, I don't know if this is too small. Compared to the Hobonichi. Oh, I like, this is different. They give you, oh right, they, this isn't different. They give you the, templates um but what oh a lace flat this is a lot smaller than i expected i'm a little worried about that but i am excited i do like the planner setup i do think a smaller planner might be a good thing but you guys i thought it would be a lot bigger oh i don't know i'm a little conflicted 
I thought it would be bigger. But at the same time, I haven't had a small planner in like five years. So I will say the really white paper, here, let me zoom in, looks way better than the yellowish tone in the Hobonichi, in my opinion. Oh, this feels so smooth. Okay, so there's the, the tracking pages and then we have the calendar. So this is where I'm a little concerned because for my Hobonichi, let me grab that. For my Hobonichi, oh, look how yellow out this is. Um, I did order the sticker kits from the Coffee Monsters Co. I ordered them like, I believe this size. I don't know, they say mini, so I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, I'm a little worried. <laughs> um, I'm worried that all of these will not fit. But you know what I could do? I could just cut them, don't know. But this is where the month looks like. And then I, I wanna know if after the month, there's like a gap page. There is. Okay, I need to figure out what to do over here because in my 2023 one, I was, tr oh, I guess I don't have one in this one. Interesting. Hmm. Well, there actually, there's a gap between the weekly and the daily spreads. And that's where I had like social media trackers. I, I'm tracking like, my growth per month. So I could probably continue that or change it up, I don't know yet. But this is why I really wanted, I really like the daily spread. I don't like the weekly spreads, it's just not for me. But, and I can actually like time it this time and then over here I could track my tickets and calls. And over here I could track all my to-dos. Probably won't decorate it as crazy, but I do want a bit more like serious and professional videos in the future. And I'll actually show you guys how I decorate my daily spreads. But wow, and it's small enough so I can actually carry it with me when we go out. It fits in my purse. Okay, and then this is what I really liked because once 2024 ends, It has these dotted pages so I can do anything I want in here, which is so, so nice. Um, I never use the important contacts one, so I'm hoping I could do like a collage here. This is pretty neat. I like this woman blouses and shoes and rings. Wow, and this, this is better than what the Hobonichi. So this is also the 100 page goal thing. I don't know what to put in here because I did write out goals in my Hobonichi cousin, but I'm never looking over there. So I'm wondering if I should just do like video ideas or books maybe, like, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is cute. Oh, I wanna fill this out. And I like how it's all in English this time. Okay, so I'm actually starting to kind of accept the little size. It's like literally the size of my hand, you guys. <laughs> but I am gonna decorate all of this and I'm really excited. So I'll get back to you guys once my order comes in. Hi guys, so oh, it's, it's so small. It's kind of freaking me out a little bit. But I think, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a go and see how I can handle it next year. Um, I'm just hoping, cause sometimes I do write a little bit big. So I'm hoping like this side I can actually use to schedule things and then here I can use to track all of my work stuff. So we shall see. Um, and it's nice that it is kind of the size just cause then I could put it in my purse and whatnot. But I got some stuff in the mail and I thought I'd go ahead and just share them with you. So I got a clear cover for the front, bigger than this notebook but it should be okay, I think. And then I got some stickers. So I got these little stickers here. These are some vintage um, 
looking stickers. So I did want to like, you know, decorate the front because I don't like just the black cover. Um, and then I got some of these here. These are like coffee ones, I think. And then, because I've been feeling my Daisy era, um, I did get a bunch of Daisy stickers. Wow, there's like a lot in here. I kind of wish I did get some bookish ones, but I clearly didn't think that through. <laughs> um, um, oh, I like this one. Okay. How do I decorate this? I'm thinking like should I just keep it simple or like I don't know I do like this in the corner I'm wondering if I should go ahead and remove some of the white lining but I don't know And then back here, I want to go just leave like one sticker, maybe. There. I'm worried about this clear protector being too big, but I don't know. I guess we'll see how it works. It's a little loose, but it'll do. 